what is granulomatous slack skin? Granulomatous slack skin is a very rare and peculiar subtype of mycosis fungoides. Those cancerous T cells, they attract histiocytes, and those histiocytes can digest elastic fibers in the deep portions of the skin. How is granulomatous slack skin different from mycosis fungoides? Clinically, it's different because it affects younger patients and affects skin folds, such as the axillary or inguinal folds or any skin fold. And on pathology, when you do a biopsy, you can see that there are so-called histiocytes that digest elastic fibers. And you can see in those large histiocytes, you can see the elastic fibers inside the cells and not in the environment as it's supposed to be. What does chronolomatous slack skin look like? So it affects um, skin folds and it looks like really more sagging or relaxed skin. And this is not part of um, an aging process. This is really part of what the lymphoma causes. And you can see redness and you can see fine wrinkling of the skin, unlike the other areas of the skin who do not show fine wrinkling of the skin and do not show any sagging. What are the treatments? Granulomatous slack skin affects the deeper portions of the skin and the treatment is a little more tricky, more difficult um, compared to the classic type of mycosis fungoides who involves the very superficial um, skin layers. But we do recommend um, um, light therapy, phototherapy, such as PUVA. Um, we do also recommend other um, um, skin directed regimens. The topical steroids can be given in combination with phototherapy, um, as well as the topical retinoids. Um, we can also use topical nitrogen mustard or low dose radiation. So these are all the treatments, um, um, uh, uh, skin directed regimens we have currently also for a classic type of mycosis fungoides um, available. Um, in really cases that are really, really stubborn or more recalcitrant to treatment, we can also combine it um, with some low dose or systemic therapy. Um, I tend to um, recommend you know, low dose retinoids because retinoids affects collagen product production and can actually um, um, improve um, the skin texture and can be used in combination with skin directed regimens. So the outcomes of granulomatous slack skin are very favorable. And so hence aggressive systemic therapy is not needed. What is the prognosis? So the bottom line is the prognosis is very favorable for patients who have that. And this is still considered, um, even if it's the skin and alone, can be still considered as manifestation of an early stage mycosis fungoides. And the only downside is that sometimes treatment takes a while to kick in. But patients do not progress and do not have a worse prognosis compared to other early stage mycosis fungoides patients.